Good afternoon or good day. This is Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes. I started a video on my other phone and my phone died. So I was in the middle of doing whoops. In the middle of doing a corner to corner dishcloth knitted. This is strict just garter. So I will talk you through this. Tell you what I did. So I start with three stitches. Then I knit those three stitches. Increase so then on the increase rows and I knit every other row. Okay, so on the increase. I, this is an increase row, so I will show you what I do. So I just have these on a circular size needles, and I will tell you what size they are when I get to the other end, because the sizes are written on the needles themselves down here. And of course, it's not on this needle, it's on the other. So, once you have your three stitches on, knit the first row, then turn your work, knit your first stitch, then I use the make one uh, increases. If you use just um, knit two in the same stitch, you will end up with gap. This way here, using the make one, you don't have the big gaps there. Okay, so after you knit your first row, your first stitch, so to make one, there's a little bar across here. Sorry, this is white, so it's kind of hard to see. What I do is I take this needle and just lift that bar up and put it on the other needle. So now I've now I've added an extra stitch. So I knit that stitch. Then just knit the rest. So you're going to knit your second second stitch, and then when you come to your last stitches, you're going to do another make one. Only these are make one right and make one left. I do not know which is right or left, but long as you do the same method on the same side you should be good and as you can see mine is pretty good okay, and I do have you on an angle I apologize for that so I'm going to try to turn my work so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm almost at the last stitch. Okay, so I'm at the last stitch. So what I'm going to do is there the bar that's across, I'm going to pick it up with this side in behind pick that knee that stitch up and then I'm going to knit that stitch okay and then knit your last stitch okay so you can see how so it for it's going to form a square so what I've done is on my increase rows, I added stitch marker. What I do with my stitch marker is I add a second stitch marker and then I add, I put it on my work. The reason why I do that is so that it doesn't slip through to the other side which I've had happen before so that you know that this is this is your right side 
and you'll always be increasing on this side. Okay, um, so what you want to do is you want to continue. So on your increase side, you'll do the increase one. So you knit one and then you increase. Knit to the end of the row. And when you get to the last stitch, you make another stitch. So you increase again. On the opposite side, so which I have designated as my wrong side, you just knit those that row. This is done in the garter stitch, so every row is knitted. You can also do this in the stockinette stitch so that you will have um, the, dip, the knitted on the one side and then your other side will look like this. So the, your knit side will be different and smoother than this side here. And I will pause this and I will sh go and show you the, the difference because I did do a hand towel in this crochet cotton and I will pause this and go and get it and show you okay so I'll show you the difference so this is what the stockinette stitch looks like so this is your right side this is your wrong side okay so you can still do this corner to corner in using the stockinette stitch. So you have a nice, smooth, um, textured cloth. Or you can knit every row and have it textured. So you can also do this for um, washcloths. Um, for washing your face, your hands, or a dishcloth. So, I will continue. I'll show you how to how I do my make one um, on my um, one more time, and then I'm going to continue increasing in this manner till I think that my washcloth is wide enough. And that would be from one corner to the other. Then we're going to start to decrease. And we decrease all the way down to our three stitches again. Then you'll just finish off your... You'll bind off. And then sew in your ends. Or weave in your ends, whatever you want to call it and then you'll have your washcloth done okay so once again we knit our first stitch okay come up close here so we take this needle in front of our bar that's across pick up that bar put it on our needle and then we're going to knit okay so then we're going to knit to the end and we're going to make our other stitch okay so I do hope this helps um, Antoinette wanted to from 2OG so I can in stitch and Island style. I will put her link to her channel in the description box below. She wanted to see how I make my do my corner to corner in the knit. And I hope this helps. I do not have a setup for tutorials to do like an overhead. Um, I'm hoping to get a different tripod where I can do the overheads because 
Honestly, for myself, I think the overhead's much um, better, but I do not have one, so um, I'm doing this the best I can. All right, so one more. We're at the end. We were at our last stitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this bar that's across. Only we're going to do it from the back. So we take this needle, go under, behind and under that bar, pick up that stitch, and then we're going to knit that stitch. Okay, and then knit our last stitch. So we've picked up. Okay. So this is what our increased side looks like. So continue on in that manner till you think it's wide enough. Now bear with keep in mind that your washcloth will shrink some. So what I do is I always make it larger than what I'd like to, to be because I don't know how much it's going to shrink. Um, so I do wash it in cold water, wash my cloths in cold water, but um, I just throw mine in the dryer. Um, so if you uh, wash and lay flat to dry, it shouldn't shrink up as much. Okay, so I'm on a non increase row. So we just knit this row. So straight knitting for this cloth that I'm doing. If you were wanted to do the stockinette stitch on this row, you would purl all your stitches. Okay. I'm going to continue on and I'll bring you back when I think it my washcloth is or washcloth slash dishcloth is big enough that I will bring you back and then we will start the decreases. Okay, be back in a moment. Okay, so I am using a six millimeter knitting needle. I have increased up to 53 stitches because like I said I know it will um, shrink some so I did um, once I reached 53 stitches I did do another my row of uh, straight knit on my wrong side so now I'm at back at my increase what was my increase side I'm just going to move my stitch marker up closer to the top okay so now it's time to decrease so what I'm going to do is I am going to knit their first stitch, knit two together. So you can decrease by knitting two together or slip one, knit one, pass one over and I think that's what I'll do on this side. So I'll slip that second stitch off onto my um, other needle knit the third stitch then pass the second stitch up over the third stitch knit to the last three stitches okay so just straight knit I'm going to do this quickly to get to the neck to towards the end of the row. 
How are you? So I hope everyone is doing well. It is kind of an early fall day here because it's nice. Um, we plan on having a barbecue for supper today. Barbecuing some up some ribs. So I hope you are having a nice day where you're at. So if you knit, let me know how long have you been knitting? Uh, what's your favorite thing to, met, to knit? What you don't like about knitting? Okay, so I'm getting close to the end. Okay, so I'm at the, I have three stitches left, so I'm going to knit two together on this end and knit the last stitch okay so once again we knit our alternating row so this is all knit So, yesterday I was downstairs, we live in a condo on the top floor. We have storage room down in our parkade. So yesterday I went down there, I was looking for some crocheted ornaments that I made. I uh, plan on sending one to Crystal from Bag O Day for her 12 foot tree in her new home and I did not exactly find what I was looking for but I brought up two great big totes rubber made totes of plushies that I made or stuffies I think they're both got stuffies in them that I crocheted and I plan on putting some of those up for sale and I will do a video and show you what I have in, made in the past that's in those totes okay so I'm at the end of this row my non-decreasing row now, what used to be our increase row. Okay, so now I'm at the decrease row. You can see I have my stitch marker here. So once again, we are going to knit our first stitch. Okay, slip the next stitch onto the needle. Knit the third stitch. Pick up and pass that second stitch up over the third, knit to the last three stitches, okay. once we get to the last three, we knit two together and knit the last stitch, and then uh, knit your alternating rows. So you will continue in that manner down to three stitches which is what we started with and then I will continue on with my decreasing and bring you back when I get closer to the three stitches. I'll probably bring it back at five stitches. Let me bring you back before that to show you that we have 
our, the shaping of our dishcloth. So, the one thing I don't like about these bamboo needles is that your work does not slide off the needles as easily as with stainless steel. Okay, so I'm at the end of this decreasing row. So I'm going to knit two together and then knit my last stitch. Okay, so I'll bring you back at five stitches and or when I get probably midway and show you the shaping. Okay, so I'm just going to show you here. So this is where I started. arm out of the way okay so you can see here it has started to go the other way so if you turn it okay so just I'm going to keep going I still have quite a few stitches on there, and I'll bring you back when I'm closer to finishing. Sorry for bumping. Okay, so. I'm back here. Okay, I have three, six, seven stitches left here. I am on a decrease row. So once again, I will knit my first stitch, slip the next, knit the third stitch, pick up and pass the second stitch over the third, knit to the last three, so knit one, then knit two together, Knit the last stitch, okay, turn your work, knit all your stitches, okay. so I will be redoing or doing another tutorial once I get a tripod where I can set up and have an overview um, to help out so now i'm at five stitches back on my decrease row so what i want to do is i want to knit the first stitch knit two together nope pardon me knit one or slip one pass or knit oh my goodness can't talk Knit your first stitch, slip the next, knit one, pass the first the second stitch over the third. Now I have two left. I haven't done this for a while, but I believe I knit those two together. Okay, which gives us three stitches. I'm going to knit those, turn my work, and knit those three stitches together, or knit those three stitches. So one, two, three. I'm going to turn my work again, so then I'm back on a decrease row, and now I am going to bind off. Okay, so I knit two stitches. Take the first stitch, pass it over the second, knit the last stitch, pass that over the third stitch. So now I have one stitch left. Okay, take my needles out. Now I pass my work through, right? You could cut it and do it. But 
if I have just a little bit left, I just pass the whole thing through the loop, cast off that last stitch. Now I've finished that off, snip this, weave in your ends, and you have your dishcloth. Done. And that is how I do the corner to corner. So, I hope this has been helpful for, helpful to you. And please check out my previous video to help out Charlene from Charlene's Crochet Corner. I will put a link in the description box to that video. Um, as you all know, I, I just um, let you watch it and, and hear about Charlene and why she needs our help. Okay, and um, like I said, I do my washcloths larger. So, um, because of the shrinkage. So what I've used is the Yarn Inspirations. This is backwards. I don't know how to fix it. Yarn Inspirations Burnett Handicrafter Cotton. It is... Okay. 100% cotton. It's 12 ounce uh, skein. 340 grams and 573 yards so number four they recommend a 4.5 millimeter uh, knit needles and a five millimeter crochet hook so I just happen to do mine in in a six millimeter because that's what I had close by so totally up to you you can you do it with any size um, needles that you'd like uh, that you feel comfortable with and of course if you do the same uh, number I did up to what did I do 53 across 53 stitches knit one row and then I started to decrease so you can see here so my decrease knit the two rows uh, even and then or even number of stitches and then I started my decrease so if you use a smaller needle size needle I believe you will have smaller cloth if you do the 53 stitches so you can use any number of stitches uh, but an odd number um, I don't know how if it would work out if you did even numbers. I've always used odd numbers. And so, however wide across you go and then start your decrease. And weave in your ends and then you are done. So if you were to do this in the stockinette stitch, it would be fairly easy to do that way um, because the fact that you uh, 